Welcome to how to make a turntable. This is what it's used for. These are the materials used to build this turntable. The electrical parts were from salvage. This switch was only used for testing. This is where to buy the gear motor and a push button switch. Surplus Center also sells half inch hubs and pulleys like these, but you only need one for this project. This is an 18 inch round plywood and locate the center and put a nail in it about a quarter of an inch just to make a dent in it. That's all we need. That's for the first part. The next step in this process is to find the center of this one of the two pieces of three inch plywood. Mark it. Now we're going to drill a half inch hole in the center of that. Do that, we will put a backing plate on it so that we don't drill into the like such as rubber thing. Drill this hole clear through. Then we need to set this up on some spacers and fit the motor to it. And I will mark where we're going to drill the mounting holes by using a small drill to make an indentation. There are four places where the... There we go. So this is where the four holes are going to... Alright, now we can mount that. Now that the holes are drilled and made to fit where the screws are, we mount the motor on the, on the board, on the plywood. Two holes. Alright, so the motor is mounted on. Alright, the next step is going to be to mount the four, these uh, two, two by two blocks. On the bottom plate, this is on the, this is going to be the bottom, and I'm using inch and a quarter, inch and a quarter deck screws because they work great for me. Anyway. And it's still not there, but that's okay. It'll hold it. But there's the base. Top will fit on this. And we'll fasten these two together with the screws for the casters. Using the same screws, use a hold the caster and the top plate and the post. Notice that I already did the electrical. I basically wired it. Alright, there you have it. Okay, we're ready to attach the, the turntable to the shaft. There's three, three ways to go. This is a, a, a flanged hub that has a keyway with no set screw. And you can also get this as is, is a pulley with a set screw, which I replaced with a with a bolt with a thread cut in it, so that I can get to it with a screwdriver from far away. And this one I have to drive two extra holes in it. And I chose the hard way. I used this one, and then I took a half a hacksaw blade, put it through here, and cut a keyway. So this is a keyway with a set screw, which is the best, but it's not necessary. This one here will slip off and on. Actually, it goes this way, and this one here will also go on the same way. Excuse me, like that. So those are the options. You have to measure the distance between here and the top of the of the uh, casters. And for this one, I ended up using 
two pieces of plywood. And the first thing I did was I drilled my centering, put my centering screw through this through the plywood. Uh, we didn't get it there, did we? You can see I've done this before. Okay. This screw is going to mount in the center of the hole, in the center of the uh, turntable. And I shut this on here with the set screw to the top, directly over the center. And for added measure I used two extra screws to hold the plywood from center. And to fasten it, I use a long screwdriver and fit it over the spine, which happens to be in the opposite direction. This. Ah. So this way the turntable will will not come off. So there's the finished project. The electrical wiring previously shown was for testing. This is the finished product with a push button and a pill bottle. You can change the direction of gear motor rotation by flipping the winding. Surface Center also sells half-inch key bushings and switches. Nice ride. I hope you enjoyed this video.